Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Jacqueline G. Most people call me Jackie. Juicy if you nasty. And today, as you can tell by the title, it is wash day. And I'm gonna test out this new dryer. One second. So yeah, I got this from Amazon. I will put the link down below. I've never tried nothing like this, but I do notice that my hair, my hair gets the straightest whenever I use like just a blow dryer and a comb. And so that is a blow dryer and a comb. And I got it from Amazon. I think I already said that. I will put the link down in the description. Description. I don't know what it's called yet. I'll put the link down to the dang uh, blow dryer down there so y'all can see it. And if it come out good, we can see. But yeah, I gotta take this out. Then I gotta take my braids out underneath. I look a mess. I look a mess. And we finna get through this together. Cause I gotta do something different, boo. It is too hot. It's too hot for hair, huh? So first action of order is to take this hair down. And I mean, it's just a wig that I made. So it's gonna be super easy to take down. Cause listen, I am just a YouTuber for a hobby. You see what I'm saying? I don't do this to make money. I just do it because I think it's fun. So I work a full-time job and my full-time job is delivering packages for Amazon. And if you could imagine what it's like to deliver packages for Amazon in Texas heat, then you would know where I was coming from. And you would understand why I'm like, you know, this is cute and I love it. Don't get me wrong. But right now, this ain't it. I, mean, I need to be wearing this bad boo right here whenever I am on vacation. And I'm not on vacation, so she's going to get put away until I'm ready for her again. That's why I made her into a wig. Look at this. Look at this. I can't keep putting got to be glued on the front of my head. Look at this. It then just slides back because I sweat. I can't. I can't do that every day. It takes too long. It's like a hour process. No. No. I'm not going to keep doing it every day. I'm not. I'm just... Gonna take this out. That's what I'm gonna do. Give me one second. Let me find some scissors. Now, this is literally just whew, feels so good. It's literally just threaded in. Oh, no. Go in. I almost cut my own hair. This I'm supposed to go in and cut the thread. I done went in and almost legit cut my own braid. Good thing these scissors ain't that sharp. Cause I would have just got got. Alright. So then And just ouch, keep cutting this bad boy off. Okay, there she is. There she go. And now she's off. Look at her. Still as beautiful as she will be. I probably wash her, and I have a wig stand, and this is the only busting wig I got so I'm gonna wash her and probably go put her on my wig stand that I had but until then she shall just go right there okay so yeah my braids they are also tied up by some thread so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out so we can get these braids down mm-hmm yeah. And when I do this, I can't see. It's just, I be doing it to my own head. Back of my head when I thread it all up and stuff. I didn't do the braids. My friend did the braids. But when I be doing all that, I can't see. So it's a mess. It is a mess. Ooh. You know, you haven't been back there to itch it for real because it's been up. I'm just going to have to 
take these braids down. As you can see, my hair is not, it ain't that long, but it ain't that short. Got a little, little hang time, just a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna take my hair down so I can get ready to wash it. Cause boy, look, it's dirty. It's so dirty. It needs to get washed. It needs to get washed. And that's what we finna do. We finna wash it. So yeah. Nice comb to get these mugs started off. Yeah. I basically just started talking about how I'm better at taking down my hair with my hands than I am at taking it down with a comb. I can usually do it easier that way. And then I started talking about my edges and how like I have so many edges. As you can see, they kind of like literally lay down in the front of my head. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it. I just have a lot of edges. And then when I got towards the top of my braid, Oh, just showing y'all a link check right there, a little link check. But when I had got towards the top of my braid, there was a lot of basically like got to be glue up there. So I decided to like spray it down with some water so that I could get it, you know, basically out of there because it was just stuck in there from all those times that I had been trying to lay that wig down. Taking my braids down, and then out of nowhere, my mom called. And so yeah, me and my mom were just on the phone, basically. Um, I think we were just talking about like what we were gonna do to our hair. And so I was like, mm, this is hard to take down my hair on the phone. Hold on one second, please. And I went and got my AirPods. <laughs> I got this um, case from Amazon. Um, if you like, I put the link in the description box down below. But yeah, I put in my AirPods and I continued talking to my mom. We were literally just talking about what we were gonna do to our hair next. She was telling me um, what hairstyle she planned on doing and she was at the beauty supply and they were just looking at different hairstyles and stuff. Well, not hairstyles, but like hair colors. And I was trying to help her get an understanding of what she should get and stuff like that. So that's how we were doing, talking on the phone. Okay, so now my hair is all taken down. So I'm just gonna, I guess I'll hop in the shower and wash it because there's no better way than to do it that way. Someone was telling me I should like, my hair is so thick that I should um, put the stuff in it before I get it wet so it can get in there. But I don't know. I'm just gonna co-wash my hair anyway. Wash it with conditioner and then put in some leave-in conditioner. I don't, I don't really care. 
I don't be really knowing what people be doing, but I'll be trying to do any and everything to put some moisture into my hair because it is really dry. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, basically I started applying the conditioner that I had in my hair. I had just started sectioning off my hair and kind of like working it through there, trying to get it through because I noticed I can get more product onto my hair if I put it in there while my hair is more um, like comb throughable because once it gets wet it shrinks up a lot and then right there I was just pulling out all that extra hair you know that you don't really get to comb out while your hair is up in braids I part it into two sections because it's easier for me to like get through my head that way it makes it easier to like you know just maneuver in my head because my hair is just so thick. Towards the end, I had kind of noticed that I did the other side better. Like I put more product in the other in the this side than I did in the other side. So I was like, hmm, let me try to go back and like at least even it out. Put some more product in the other side. <laughs> I tried to like brush through, put some in there, just so it can have as much as the other. And yeah, the workout, and yeah, post frame. So yeah, this is my hair soaking wet. As you can see, it's literally still dripping. Dedication, if you ask me. I dry my hair with this t-shirt. And then I'm gonna go put on some clothes. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish drying my hair now that I've got some clothes on. And this is how my hair looks. And that's what I meant when I said, girls, we're talking about shrinkage. This is shrinkage. That is shrinkage. It's a journey. If I could say so in the least, it is a journey. But it's cool. I never did a big chop. I just literally grew my hair out and got hair cut. Well, I cut my own hair and then I got a haircut. It was kind of like a big chop to me. That's what it felt like. But yeah, I have this As I Am Leaving. This As I Am Leaving conditioner. Um, that's the only one I got. So, oh shit, I forgot leave conditioner was like that. It smells good. It smells really good. So, okay, I'm just gonna put this in there generously. <laughs> I was washing my hair one night. It was like 3 a.m. I was like, dang, I wish I could get one of these. I went on Amazon and it was like, we deliver by today. It was 3 a.m. It was going to deliver by today, 1 p.m. But I needed, um, but I needed it like right now. But I was like, Ugh, whatever. If they're going to deliver it by today at 1 p.m., I'm just going to go ahead and get it. So that's what I did. I bought it and it did come by like 1 p.m., but that was too late because I had already had an appointment to get my hair braided at like 10 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, I just went with my hair wet. Yeah, you guys saw. Anyway, so yeah, I'm super excited now that I'm finally back and able to get to try this thing out. Cause I was not gonna use it on my bundles. I was just like, no, thank you. So I'm gonna try it on my own hair. I'm super excited. It's got a couple heat settings. Uh, off, 
cool, low, and high. So I'm definitely gonna put it on high because I need all that. So yeah, let's see. You can already tell just from that little swing that this is gonna be lit. Let's just see how straight it gets my hair. Cause for the most part, it's combing through it. So that's really what I was most worried about if it was actually gonna comb through it. But it's combing through it. So let me just get my hands dry so I can get a grip on this thing. And let's go to work. show y'all when I get it all the way dry how it looks okay okay so I don't know Revlon you might have did something with this one because this didn't even take long and my hair for the most part is like dry and straighter than I could ever get it I mean yeah I do need to cut like another inch off my hair But either way, either way, this is straighter than I could ever get my hair with a comb through blow dryer, like regular comb through blow dryer, and it's so easy to use. Oh, jeez. And it feels good. That's crazy. It even feels good. <coughs> even feels good. So yeah, I'm gonna do the front one on camera so you guys can see. this whole side so yeah just gonna keep going i'm gonna be back with y'all when the race completely dry so yeah this literally took like all of 20 30 maybe 40 minutes tops just because i wanted to get my hair super straight and dry as i could and yeah i want to say this thing is awesome 
it's awesome the easiest time i ever had washing my hair and blow drying it oh my god it was so easy what it was so easy yes i'm finna put my hair into a big bun at the top but yeah it was so easy bruh amazing one second now, they're not sponsoring me to do this video or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give an honest opinion on it. Don't get me wrong, it's amazing. It does an amazing job. But I'm like 5'8", and I don't know, my hands, I don't think I have small hands. I feel like my hands are a decent size, fairly. If you ask me, I think they're kind of big hands. I don't fucking, I don't freaking know. But this handle, is really wide and it kind of hurts my hand to hold it and it's like you want to normally hold it and do it like a brush I don't know it's just kind of hard to hold when I'm using it it gets difficult to hold it makes my hands hurt that it gets hot I do dry my hair on the high setting but it gets hot like burn your hand hot it will get hot okay but I mean other than those two things and those aren't two things that I will be like, yeah, don't go buy this because the handle is too big. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying like those are some cons that come with it. The handle is kind of big. It might make your hand hurt. Other than that, this is a go. I would totally recommend this if you got thick hair and you tired of your wash a day taking three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours. I was that person and I'm tired of it. So yeah. This took my wash day from six hours to one, two hours tops, you know. That was great. And it doubles as a brush. But yeah, I mean, that's all I got today. I just wanted to come in and review this thing. Yeah, I would definitely, out of a 10, I would probably give it a 9.3 because of the handle. And I mean, all blow dryers get hot, but all blow dryers have skinny handles too. And they're all easy to hold. I've never had a blow dryer with this big a handle that was difficult for me to hold and maneuver as I was doing. Oh, and it works better when you do it like this. Like, like this, and not like this. It hurts your hand either way though. But yeah. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, um, just subscribe down below. Um, give me a like on this video. Um, I will be posting more hair videos. Not like if you give me a like, I'll post another one. No, I will be posting more hair videos. Things like that is going to be a part of my YouTube. So, yeah. You guys are in this, we're on this journey together. And so, yeah. Catch you guys later. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Yay! Peace out, Girl Scouts. Oh.